Hey Virgo, this is Power and Light Tarot. Thanks for coming to your reading over here on YouTube, alright? This is going to be your love reading for the first part of January 2019, alright? Happy New Year's, you guys, alright? And um, I'm going to be going over to Vimeo with the remainder of the reading, and this is going to be what are their true intentions in love with you, okay? Whoever you're dealing with. And, uh, you know... Please like, share, and subscribe, and really appreciate you guys, all right? Sending you a lot of love here, and um, please check your moon and your rising, guys. You can get your natal chart at cafeastrology.com if you are not aware of that, okay? And also, you know, you guys can cross-watch, get your moon and rising videos to see, you know, uh, you know what else is kind of a more complete picture about your life, especially your moon sign. And also, you can cross-watch your partner, okay, whoever you may be dealing with, okay? So let's get started here. The bottom of the deck is the Fool and the Queen of Cups here. And, um, you know, you could be dealing with uh, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, Virgo. I kind of see that, you know, uh, showing up in your readings here, in love. And the Fool is there, and the Fool talks about leaving behind baggage and going out on your own and taking a risk, all right? Basically having courage to you know, pursue a fresh start for yourself, okay? So we have here, um, as your current energy, Virgo, you have the full card with the Hierophant in the reverse. So definitely you are going out on your own after some type of a breakup. It could be a divorce here with these cards, uh, the way they're showing up, okay? Your past energy, Virgo, is the Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups in the reverse, and the World card. So, you know, in the past, you could have been, you know, in a, in a commitment here where there was, where there was uh, abundance, there was stability. You know, with the Ten of Pentacles is often, to me, marriage and stability, financial stability. I felt like you were feeling that in the past um, and that you had a lot of options, but you have come out of that. You could have been confused, too, with the Seven of Cups in the reverse, all right, about your union, possibly, but also, you were taking a new cycle, stepping into a new cycle in the past with the world's card, okay? And, you know, you could be ending something with somebody here, especially with the Hierophant in the reverse, the Fool card, all right? And the Ten of Pentacles, which is a completion, okay? You're seeing your partner as moving on here with the Eight of Cups, okay? You could be seeing them uh, possibly as a scorned person here, all right? Um... You could also be seeing them as, you know, they could possibly be an air sign. Uh, I don't think that's necessarily the, necessarily the case here. But we have uh, the Queen of Swords is Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini energy. But I felt like you were seeing them as moving on for something more uh, emotionally fulfilling and that they were basically, you know, asking you for answers here. All right? Uh, you know putting their sword up and saying, I really want to get to the bottom of this. I want to know what's going on. The Queen of Swords is somebody who demands honesty, okay? They could have been asking you for honesty or asking you for answers, and maybe they didn't get it, and they said, you know, I'm out of here, okay? So your their current energy is the Five of Swords, the King of Pentacles. They're totally feeling you, Virgo, when the King of Pentacles is showing up in their current energy, and the Nine of Cups in the reverse, Yes, you could be dealing with another earth sign, but um, I, I feel like they are just feeling you here as the king of pentacles that you are, all right? And the five of swords is here. You know, this is their current energy. They could be feeling defeated right now with the five of swords. They are feeling some kind of way uh, very bad here because the nine of cups is in the reverse. I feel like they are feeling defeated from a union with you. And that in the beginning, you were their Nine of Cups. You were their dream come true, their wish come true here with the Nine of Cups, all right? And um, it's in the reverse here. They could also be feeling uh, feeling some, you know, feeling the energy from a third-party situation. The Five of Swords, there are three people here, and this is not good energy, okay? They could be feeling that... Um, that a third party has flipped their wish upside down with the Nine of Cups. They could also be feeling, you know, just kind of, uh, they could be feeling fighting, like an energy of, you know, of conflict, all right? They could also be feel, feeling punked, all right? As in, you know, uh, 
you know, pushed around, so to speak, or they could also be feeling that, you know, they were in a situation with you where there are mind games with the Five of Swords, okay? You guys are going to have to take it as it resonates with you, okay? It's it's one of the above with the Five of Swords, one of the, the scenarios that I painted here. Now, the Hermit is here, and this is you, Virgo, so they're feeling you again so much in the past, all right? They could have been doing some soul searching, but, you know, the Hermit is Virgo. You're showing up in their past energy with the Nine of Wands, and the, which is the Wounded Warrior, with the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like in the past, you know, uh, they were feeling you, and they were trying to size up a situation where they were feeling some baggage, where they were feeling a, like a wounded warrior from something that happened in the Union, okay? Here, in the past, they were trying to make a decision. They were waiting, though, okay? But they were sizing something up. It could have been about money uh, as well, not just you guys, but money maybe within the Union with these pentacles here. Um, you know, they could have also just been feeling wounded from you because the hermit is here. Um, I feel like that is definitely, that is part of their past feeling, all right? Um, now... They are seeing you as the Queen of Wands, and we know, Virgo, you are not the Queen of Wands, okay, usually. <laughs> they are seeing you as the Queen of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the King of Cups. I feel like they are seeing you as, you know, they could be seeing you as trying to have victory here and in love with a Queen of Wands. This can really be the situation between you guys. I'm saying that, Virgo, because of these cards here, you know, you are seeing them as moving away. They are seeing you as, you know, their current energy, something didn't work out with them. And, um, you know, your current energy is that you're moving on because of a divorce or some type of a breakup here. I feel like they are, you know, for some of you guys, they are really seeing you as trying to have victory with the Queen of Wands here. Um, and that you are in love with them, okay? Or you could also be trying to balance your emotions here or control your emotions, right? Deal with your emotions really well. Have victory with the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is uh, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, okay? I feel like the Queen of Wands has shown up in your reading in the past, Virgo, or some type of fire sign, okay? It doesn't have to be... Uh, you know, because one of those fire signs, okay? Now here, the situation between you guys is the Ten of Swords, which is betrayal and backstabbing, okay? This is what I'm talking about, a third party here, okay? And there's backstabbing here. There is, um, this is the situation. I feel like the situation is that somebody got, you know, there was, there's Ten Swords and somebody's back here about somebody from the past and a third party, Okay? This could also be betrayal, you know, with a soulmate. You could have a soulmate you're dealing with, and you have put them in a third party with the Six of Pentacles, all right? Um, the situation also could be to have an equal give and take with your soulmate after some type of betrayal, okay? You guys are going to have to take it which scenario it was fitting you guys, all right? But clearly, um, this could even be both, okay? Both of those scenarios I just painted for you, okay? So either one or both, all right? So let's go on here. I'm going to be going over to Vimeo Virgo with what they are hiding, uh, the potential here, and their true intentions with you. Also the challenge between you guys, okay? So um, thank you so much for coming over here to YouTube, guys. And, um, you know, you can go and see your videos. They're only $8.99 to view all the videos, all the uh, what are their true intentions in love videos, all right? So you can get some insight here and uh, kind of figure out what's going on for some of you guys, all right? Thanks so much, guys. And the link is below.